بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about Sinonasal Anatomic Variants Common Causes List Common Causes and some rare causes, rare causes and some examples. The key differential issues, anatomic variants are rule rather than exception. Multiple variants can be present at the same time in the same patient. So it is important to identify and report them. Variants may make patients prone to recurrent inflammatory disease and may increase risk complications during the functional endoscopic sinus surgery. The differential diagnosis, the common, include nasal septal deviation, agar nasai cell, nasal septal spare, concabulosa, infraorbital ethmoid hull of cell, paradoxical middle turbinates. Helpful clues for common diagnosis. Nasal septal deviation, most common variant of often associated with the previous trauma, deviate from the midline of its shape. Impact on nasal airway potency depends on the overall nasal cavity width. Measure the maximum deviation from the midline and report them in your report. Here we see coronal CT cut deviation of the nasal septum to the right side associated with the small bony spear. And also here we see paradoxical curvature of the middle turbinate on the left side. A guard nasal cell present in about more than 85% most anterior extramural ethmoid air cell located anterior to the front abscess at the level of the lacrimal sac or head of the middle turbinate on coronal CT scan. Here you see coronal CT scan patient with uh, obesified nasal uh, Obacified nasal agar cell on the left side associated with frontal mucosal sinus disease. And we see the agar cells at the level of the lacrimal sac. Nasal septal spare nearly always associated with septal deviation and often at the ethmoid vomer junction. Document direction and length of the spare, bony or cartilaginous contact with the lateral nasal wall structure or septum in your report. Here we see patient with coronal CT scan with the nasal septal sphere directed toward the left side with superior lateral displacement of the middle turbinate. Concabulosa, it is a pneumatized, a pneumatization of the concha 
term of middle turbinate, main or middle meatus, can be diseased with mucosal thickening, fluid retention cyst, or osteoma. Inferior pneumatization is uncommon. Here we see patient with uh, bilateral concabulosa, more larger on the left side, associated with nasal septal deviation and some depression of the fovea ethmoidalis on the left side with the retention cyst on the right maxillary sinus. Here, bilateral concabulosa larger on the left side and with no complication of the, uh, of the maxillary sinus and ethmoid, anterior uh, ethmoid aerosols and the frontal sinuses are clear. Some nasal septal deviation is also noted. Here, patient with uh, uncomplicated uh, uh, bilateral concabulosa with mild nasal septal deviation. Infraorbital ethmoid hair cell, air cell located along the inferior surface of the orbital floor, inferior surface of the orbital floor, antral roof. And this increased risk of orbital injury during fun functional endoscopic sinus surgery. Variable in size and often bilateral can narrow the infant debilum and can be diseased. Here we see in this coronal CT scan patient with the large infraorbital hair of cell on the right side and we see the infraorbital nerve on the right side, it is laterally displaced. Here another patient with the small, smaller infraorbital, uh, infraorbital head of cells. It is, it is blocking the infant bilum and compressing, compressing, compromising the drainage of the pathway of the maxillary sinus. Here, this is another patient with infraorbital hair losses on the left side, and it is dis displacing the infraorbital canal and its nerve. Paradoxical middle turbinate Concavity of the turbinate conca directly toward the septum. Diffuse or focal, variable in shape, in size, and often clubbed sh shaped, can narrow the middle meatus and can be diseased. As we see here, it is a coronal CT scan patient with bilateral paradoxical curvature of the middle turbinates with sinus disease. And the uh, conca is directly toward the nasal septum. Less common causes an immunized anterior clinoid process, fovea ethmoidalis asymmetry law, an immunized ancinate process, frontal cells, pneumatized crestae galli, sub supraorbital ethmoid cell, dehiscent lacrimal lamina babricia. Clues for this common diagnosis, pneumatized anterior clinoid process, position lateral to the optic nerve, increased risk injury during sphenoid surgery. Here we see axial cut CT scan demonstrate well aerated cell within the left anterior clinoid process. The optic nerve 
and internal carotid artery lie medial to this air cell. Phobia with moidalis, asymmetric law, low position increase risk of skull base complication during ethmoid dictomy, resulting in CSF leak, encephalocele, and parenchymal brain injury. Report measurement of the asymmetry in the millimeter in your dictation. Here we see coronal CT scan patient with the low position of the uh, fovea ethmoidalis on the left side compared to the right side and left maxillary sinus disease with air fluid level. A pneumatized ancinate process may narrow either infant or middle meatus. And here we see the coronal cut CT scan with patient with left uh, uh, ancinate process in, with air incidentally noted and also noted on the right side. Small concabulosa on the right side with ancinate uh, uh, process on the left side demonstrate air cells. Here we see the superior tip of the ancinate process is pneumatized in this patient, but the no sinus disease is present. Here we see a pneumatization of the ancinate process more on the left side. With no sinus disease in this patient. Frontal cells located anterior to the frontal versus above the agar nasi cell or within the frontal sinus. And we have four types according to benthic classification. In, there is increased incidence of these cells with other variants like concarbulosa, type 3 and 4 may be associated with disease, with increased incidence of the sinus disease and the frontal sinus. Type 1, frontal cell, single above the agar nasi, type two, more, two or more cells above the agar nasi, type three, single large cells above the agar nasi that extend superior into frontal vessels, type four, cell located completely within the frontal sinus. Here, sagittal cut CT scan revealed the uh, type 1 agar cells superior to the agar nasi. The cell, it is located anterior to the frontal uh, recess and in, in this case at the level of frontal ostium. This is type 1 uh, 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 type 1 frontal cells. A pneumatized equesta galli drain into one of the frontal sinus or frontal recesses. Mucosyl formation and subsequent infection mucobiosyl. Increased risk of anterior cranial fossa infection. Here we see the coronal cut CT scan in this patient with a pneumatized crystal galley and paradoxical middle terminate and a pneumatization of the vertical lamellae bilaterally.
So we have orbital ethmoid cell, cell with an orbital plate of frontal bone, posterior to the frontal sinus and the frontal vessels. This denoted on axial imaging. The uh, haste and lamina babericia, post traumatic or congenital, orbital fat of media vectus muscle may have near into ethmoid labyrinth. Increased risk for orbital injury during functional endoscopic sinus surgery. Here we see coronal cut CT scan demonstrate the hastens of the left uh, lamina babricia with herniation of the extra coronal orbital fat throwing the defect into the ethmoid region. Rare but important causes is phenoethmoidal cell or onodi cell carotid artery sphenoid dehiscence. Helpful clues for that, sphenoid ethmoidal cell or onodi cell, anomatization of the posterior ethmoid air cell, superior to optic nerve, optic nerve at increased risk during the posterior ethmoidectomy. This seen in the axial imaging, look for horizontal separation on the coronal images between this cell superiorly and the sphenoid sinus inferiorly. Here with the axial cut CT scan on the shows left sphenoid, sphenoidal cell on the left side extended to the over the optical canal. Smaller cells are also noted on the right side. Position is superior to the sphenoid sinus. Carotid artery sphenoid dehiscence, absence of bony covering over the internal carotid artery. Artery bulges into sphenoid sinus, lumen. artery at risk, increased risk for injury during sphenoid sinus surgery. Beta denilated on the axial images. Other essential information, Anatomic variation can also be categorized based on location or anatomic structure. Involved frontal region variants, ethmoid region variants, middle terminate variants, uncinate process variants, sphenoethmoidal region variants, nasal septal variants. Additional variants not mentioned above, variable pneumatization, Ablasia, hyboblasia, hyperneumatization, intersinus septal cell located within septum uh, between the frontal sinuses, fusion of the uncinate to middle turbinate, lamina babericia of the skull base, pneumatization of the vertical lamella of the middle turbinate, septal versus cell within the posterior nasal septum, sphenoid sinus separation, septation inserting on the carotid canal, pneumatization of the dorsum cilia. Hoping you are satisfied with uh, this short uh, mini talk about the normal variant of sinonasal variants and hoping to see you soon in the another talk.